Hello, so I'm James, and this video is all about suicide burns. So a suicide burn is just any burn where you're on an impact trajectory with the thing that you're trying to land on. The alternative to this is a constant altitude burn. This is where you keep a fixed periapsis above the surface. When the fixed height is set to zero, the constant altitude burn and suicide burn are exactly the same thing, and this is maximally efficient, assuming that there isn't an atmosphere. With an atmosphere, atmospheric drag obviously becomes a lot more important, and the calculations become a lot more complicated. Performing a maximum thrust burn at the last possible moment is maximally efficient because gravity is an accelerating force. This means that at sea level on Kerbin, for every extra second you spend falling before you land, you're adding an extra 9.81 meters per second of delta V that you then need to burn off in order to land safely. For actual landing burns, there are a few more considerations, and this includes safety, efficiency, the maximum G value that can be tolerated by the crew, engineering constraints, etc. In KSP, one of the biggest problems that I've had is with uneven terrain. And because you only know, or the way I do it, you only know the height exactly below your ship, I've been concentrating on burns with very little horizontal velocity so that I know what height I'll be landing at. There are a few ways to calculate suicide burn height, but an easy way is with the constant acceleration formula. This is obviously an approximation, as acceleration towards the body depends on your distance away from it, but for most purposes it should be accurate enough. I found that in this program, this effect can cause crashes if you're not careful sometimes. So this is my program to land a drone rocket for SpaceX style missions. It starts by setting everything to a known state, defining functions for calculating gravity and suicide burn height. The bulk of the code is in this loop though, which runs through several run modes to do everything that needs to be done in a nice compartmentalised way. I've linked this code in the description, so let's see how it works in practice. Thank you for watching, please comment, like etc if this has been helpful, and have a great day!